Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find all values of x that satisfy this equation? We have x power 6 equals to power 6. So let's move this over here. x power 6 minus 2 power 6 equals 0. Now we can express this as 3 times 2. x power 3 times 2. Minus 2 power 3 times 2 equals 0. a power n times m equals a power n or power m. You have x power 3 or power 2 minus 2 power 3 power 2 equals 0. So we can apply difference of two squares if you have a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b and our a is x power 3, b is 2 power 3. So we apply this right here. We have x power 3 plus 2 power 3 times x power 3 minus 2 power 3 and this equals 0. We can equate each of these to 0. So we have this x power 3 plus 2 power 3 equals 0. We have x power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. Let's solve this first equation here. We are going to solve using this identity if you have a power 3 plus b power 3. This equals a plus b times a squared minus a d plus b power 2. And remember our a is x, b is 2, so we have x plus 2 times x squared minus x times 2 plus 2 power 2 equals 0. From here we have x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. At this point we can equate each of these to 0. We have x plus 2 equals 0. We also have x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So let's solve this equation. So we start with this one here. We have x equals negative 2. This is our x1. We have a quadratic equation here. We can solve this using the quadratic formula. We have x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. Now let's compare this equation with the general quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, meaning a is 1 b is negative 2, c is 4. A coefficient of this are a, b, and c, respectively. So from here, we have x equals negative b, that is negative times negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, negative 2, or 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4, divided by 2 times 1. From here, we have x equals this is 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 16 divided by 2. From here, you have x equals 2 plus or minus square root of this is negative 12 divided by 2. x equals 2 plus or minus this minus 6. You have square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2. So from here you have x equals 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 this i times square root of 12 this is 4 times 3 divided by 2. Right here we have x equals 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 this is 2 root 3 and this is divided by 2 cancel this cancel this. So we have x equals 1 plus or minus i times root 3.
we have two complex solutions here. Our x2 will be 1 plus i over 3. And also, x3 will be 1 minus i over 3. Now, let's get back to the other cubic equation to solve for other values of x. This one here. x power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. We consider this identity. We have a power 3 minus b power 3. a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. a is x, b is 2. So we have x minus 2 times x squared plus x times 2 plus 2 power 2 equals 0. From here you have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. From here you have x minus 2 equals 0. You also have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So let's solve this individual equation. From here we have x equals 2. Is our x1. We have this one here to solve for other values of x. F x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, this can be our x4. We have gotten x1, x2, x3. So we are still going to make use of the formula mentor. You write the formula in respect to x. So here is the formula here. Yeah? So right now, I can compare this to general quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bs plus c equals zero. And from here, a is one, b is two, c is four. Based on this, B and C. So we have X equals negative B. That's negative 4 plus or minus. Square root of B squared. And we have B is 2. So not 4. B is 2. B squared we have 2 power 2. Minus 4 times 1 times C. Divided by 2 times it is 2 times 1. So from here, you have x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of, this is 4 minus 16 divided by 2. From here, you have x equals, this is negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12 divided by 2. From here, you have x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2. We have x equal this is negative 2 plus or minus. This will give us imaginary number i times square root of 12. This is 4 times 3 divided by 2. So right here you have x equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4. 2 root 3 divided by 2 to cancel itself, cancel this, cancel this. So we are going to have negative plus or minus i root 3. So we have two complex solutions again. This is our x5. This is negative 1 plus i root 3. And also we have x6, negative 1 minus i root 3. So in total, we have six different solutions. Four complex solutions and two real solutions, which are negative two and positive two. These are the real solution, positive three here and negative two. You can decide to change. The reason we are having six different solutions is because the power here is six and this is six. So you can check using the real solution we have x1 equals negative two. We also have x4 
equal positive two. These are the real solutions. We can check right here. If you substitute two for x here, you have two power six equals two power six. And two power six is 64. And this equals 64. When x equals negative two, that means you are going to have Negative 2 power 6 is the same thing as 2 power 6. Obviously, yes, because negative raised to an even number is positive. So this is the same thing as writing 2 power 6 equals 2 power 6. This is 64 equals 64. So the both real solutions are correct, and we only have four complex solutions more. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.